guys, this is Tom from Marshall Tactical Defense. Today, in part of our church security series, we're going to show you how to approach a suspicious person in a vehicle. It can be a very dangerous situation. That's one of the most dangerous situations that police officers have to deal with. So, as church security, uh, it's something you need to deal with uh, and know how to handle it in a safe manner and what to look out for. Now, we're going to show you how to approach a vehicle. I always suggest you have at least two people, okay? It's very important, so somebody can be watching what's going on inside the vehicle while the lead guy is talking to the person. The lead guy is always gonna be on the driver's side. The support guy will come up on the passenger side. I always recommend not approaching the vehicle from the front, because if the guy is has malintent, if you see anything coming from the front, that gives them a lot of time to prepare. Before we start, one of the things I highly recommend is uh, that the team wear uh, earpieces you can see here. Uh, John and I, we have it, we're in communication, so uh, there's other guys in other parts of the property now that are on duty. They, they can know that we're approaching somebody, something does go down, and we need support, that they're queued in, okay? What I'm gonna show you now is just to do the approach, so John and I, there's a suspicious person in the vehicle, we're gonna approach the side, coming up the back of the, the vehicle, maintaining along the side, just like a police officer would. So we walk up, we wanna stay near the, near the end of the vehicle, Walking up, and you can see John is following the same on the pa on the passenger side. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hey, hey I'm Tom. I'm from the member of the safety team. We just I'm saw Alan. you kind of hanging out. Did you have any any problems? Or are you? No, uh, I'm just picking up a family you? member. Okay, just a family member. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because we saw the service was around 10:30. Okay. Which we did when we approached the vehicle, if you notice, I came up to the side. See this bar here? What you wanna do is use this as a shield. So if I'm coming up here, uh, you wanna watch the body language. It's very important. When I'm talking to the gentleman, I'm looking, is he relaxed? Is he nervous? Um, if I see any kind of quick movement with his hand, because obviously if he has a gun, if he has malintent, uh, I'm gonna have a little time to react. So it's very important that you watch what's going on inside the vehicle uh, as you're talking to the person. Also, John over there is in the support side. Um, he's watching what's going on too. One of the important things you do when you're dressing a vehicle is what you want to scan for briefly while you're looking inside the car. Use your senses too. Uh, if you smell any kind of drugs, immediately don't uh, cease from approaching the vehicle. Go to a safe area, call the police. You don't want to deal with somebody that's, that's doing drugs. Um, Again, we're not police officers, we're just trying to see if there's any suspicious people. If there's something very serious, just call the police and let them do their job. But when you want to do a, a quick scan as much as I can, I'm trying to look for, uh, do I see a gun or any kind of weapons that are in display? Is this, is this hand by his side? There might be, have the hand on his gun, contemplating whether he's gonna draw it or not. Um, obviously, it's nice if I can see where his hands are really available. Now, we're not police officers, so we can't necessarily command him to put his hands on the steering wheel. You, you assume a little more risk. Um, but you just want to just get an overall tone. I do suggest, uh, obviously when you're on duty, you know, I'm dressed with a suit on, uh, it's pretty clear, you know, I'm not just a thug approaching the car. However, you might be doing some detail, not during the main service during the week on the off hours, and you may not be more civilian clothes. So it's a very dangerous situation because he may not know if you're coming up to hurt him, right? So he might respond in self-defense when you're just trying to question him. Okay, so it's very important. Now, one of the most important things you can do is when you, when you dress them, you know, be, be relaxed, you know, give them your name and let them know that you're part of a, a church secu uh, safety team, okay? That lets him know you do have authority on, on the property and you're just not somebody that's coming to cause trouble, okay? And two, you never know what the guy's in, uh, intentions were. He, most of the time, they're gonna be harmless. You have to be very safe and cautious um, when you're approaching that, but you don't want to escalate the situation by coming off too strong or potentially trying to uh, accuse him of something. So. Always ask him what he's here for, does he need any help? Um, and then just trying to look at his body language. So, some very important things to keep in mind. Now, if something did go down, again, so you want to st stay here and use this bar as coverage. It can be a lot harder him for take a shot if I'm back here. I can quick, quick run around to the back of the car and get cover. But if I'm standing, if I'm standing up here and he goes to point the gun, it's very easy for him to get a shot off, okay? So you wanna be a little, little more strategic in how you approach the vehicle. I can see just enough, but I can always have enough cover to, to react. What I don't wanna be is, is out here. If I'm out here, he can get a nice shot. 
Uh, if I try to run away, he could potentially even run me over with the car. It's a lot harder for him to do it in reverse. So you gotta think smart. As always, guys, stay safe and alert. Take care until next time.